What's going on guys? Derek here, Southern South Lawn Care. Today, I'm going to give you a little update on the Skag that we got, 36. Uh, only got about two hours on it at this point, but uh, the update is we put this uh, style sulky on it. kind of looks like a grasshopper mower or a prey and mantis type thing, uh, but it's got the rear casters that swivel instead of uh, like that one over there, just your average sulky. Uh, the problem we were having with that is whenever we would back up, because with it being hydraulic, you know, you just squeeze the back up. The issue we were having were these, we catch here, dig into the ground here, and of course make your wheel start spinning, stop you. It was just aggravating. So I was looking at different options. It was in between this and the bull router. I went with this one because it goes on the exact same mount as this one. So I didn't have to mount up anything. Uh, I just basically hooked this piece onto here, greased it up, and put it on. Uh, there are some situations where that would probably be better, but I really can't think of many. Uh, the tires are a little more narrow on that, so causing more uh, like mud stripes. Where with right here, your tires are pretty much the size of any front caster. So I mean, it just I mean, you're going to leave the same amount here as you would with your front. So if your fronts are leaving marks, you know, you're going to leave marks with this. Now the cool thing about this. And the reason I bought this mower instead of a 36 stander, uh, the 36 standards to me just don't handle hills uh, at all. Where with the 36 walk behind, it's just so versatile. Uh, plus I got a good deal on it, but either way I was gonna buy either a new one, but just kind of came across this one, got lucky. But with this on the back, it almost feels like you're on a grandstand. I'll give you my point of view. You now you stand real high on the grandstand. If you got this nice, high angle it's got good room if you wanted you could even put a grass flap on here because i've got to put something on here probably going to go with grass flap um, but there's even room there you could just run the cable out or since it doesn't move side to side you can just put it you know where everybody else does but another advantage i see to this is that one can get a little squirrely when you hit bumps and stuff where this one doesn't it's a lot more comfortable and it just doesn't seem like you're going to break your ankles quite as easy on this one so i'll give you a quick demonstration of me riding it around my driveway uh i just mowed all this with it just to kind of get a good feel for it and i like it but uh not going to give my full opinion until um uh, you know i ride it put about 10 hours on it then i'll kind of tell you what i really think but so far i really like it and the price is really really good on it uh so i'll kind of show you right here in the driveway how it works and uh enjoy research on this mower and nobody actually shows this thing with this up uh, so that is it with it up I thought it was gonna put a lot more weight onto the back rear of it but it's essentially no I mean it's a little heavier than that one but the way that one comes further up it doesn't uh, affect the weight as much uh, eventually may put a weight kit on the front but I was deciding on doing that anyway but that's it guys it, it trailers just the same with it up with it up like that it fits perfect right in the middle in between this one and that one uh, so it works good so if y'all want to see anything like subscribe comment and I'll get you guys an update on this once I've ridden it for uh, we'll say 10 or 15 hours appreciate it